What's up everybody, my name is Tassili, and here I am with another hands-on of Red Faction Armageddon. Uh, I was going to play Fear, but apparently Steam has not finished downloading that yet. Um, they have a package deal where you can buy the entire Fear series, Fear 1 and the expansion, and Fear 2 and the two expansions? I don't know, either there's two expansions for the first one or there's two expansions for the second one, I can't remember. And um, you can buy them all for ten dollars, I think, this weekend. So that's kind of cool. I'm gonna turn this up a little bit because I watched my last video and you really couldn't hear the game very much. So let's fly right into it and see what happens. Uh, so far, I have had fun playing Red Faction Armageddon, but it's definitely nothing that I haven't seen before. So unless they do something very different very quickly. I don't think it's going to be a uh, very, very memorable game. Although I haven't dipped into the multiplayer yet, so I'm not sure. Maybe the multiplayer is really fun. Multiplayer on Gorilla was pretty fun from what I've seen. I don't, I didn't play it very much, but my cousin has played it quite a bit. So, Wow, where's my aim today? My aim is off. Let's see if I can duck in here. And... There we go. It's a little bit better. Still missing, but killing some people. Those things probably explode, so I probably want to be careful around those. Whoa. I'm guessing the guy that we hear talking right now is the guy who was in the cutscene at the beginning of the first level where he was like, oh, this is the guy we need to kill on site or something. Stupid. But to be quite honest, I don't really know what's going on. Oh, let me smash some stuff. Smashing stuff's always cool. Can I smash this wall? No. Can I smash this thing? Yes. So it looks like they've departed a little bit from the uh, Red Faction, the first one, where they basically said everything is destructible. That's what this game's about, is destructing everything. Because look, nothing happens. Eh, oh well. It's not that big of a deal. It would just be kind of cool if I could blow everything up. Um, but I guess they still want to maintain some semblance of a purpose in the game, so they're kind of making me walk a certain way. Because otherwise, maybe I would get myself lost. I don't know. I would prefer if I could just destroy everything, but you know what? Oh well. So, in the last game, you could destroy pipes and stuff, and they would drop scrap or salvage, whatever, you want, whatever it's called. But maybe in this one, they don't? I don't know. They get in the way. That's cool, I guess. Whoa! Easy there, rocket soldier. Oh god. kind of weird. Sometimes it looks like I shoot him in the head and nothing happens. And then, uh, sometimes it looks like I shoot him in the head and they actually die, so I'm not really sure. A little bit of salvage down there, but I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to bother with that. So if you didn't catch my first hands-on, that thing that's firing out of my arm is a, uh, like a repair gun type thing. Basically, lots of stuff blows up in this game, and if you need to repair some of it, you can use that little repair gun to kind of put everything back together. Like here, I'm putting back together some kind of a reactor. We need to stop hail. Now. And now 
this little guidance thing on the bottom of my screen is basically telling me where to go. Yeah, it is kind of lame that it, the game just basically tells me exactly where to go, but as I said, this game's not exactly going to be breaking the genre, breaking the first or third person shooter genre. It's pretty much just um, mindless fun. And when I said breaking, what I mean is revolutionizing. I'm not sure why I said breaking. Probably because I'm breaking so much stuff, but not getting any salvage, which is lame. Not sure what that thing does. I'll break it. not sure if the storyline is just not engaging or if I'm just not paying enough attention to it, but from what I can tell, the story seems to be I am the son of the guy from the last game, and I'm my character is some sort of an engineer on a strike team of some kind. <clears throat> but while my character was inside of the strike team's APC, uh, I guess fell out or something? I don't know. There was a cutscene at the beginning of the game, but it didn't really make a lot of sense. One second my guy was in the car, and then the next second all of a sudden he was like hanging from a cliff, and then all of a sudden another car like ran into his face and he fell down the cliff. And then I was separated from everybody, so um, not really sure what happened in the cutscene, but here I am by myself, and for some reason it's not on this guy's priority uh, list to meet up with his squad. I mean... I'm not sure why, but here, let me push C really quick. If Donnie, somebody screwed up our order, we needed a C5 exosuit. The loader unit, not a damn Shiva. Does something like this even happen? We need to stack coolant, not blow it up. Get it out of here before someone gets drunk and takes it for a joyride. Oh boy. Well, that wasn't good. Just fell down about three levels. Um, this whole thing that's supposed to heal stuff is probably going to come in handy for a, mo for a moment here. Well, not for a moment, but throughout the course of the game it'll probably come in handy. Uh, oh, salvage. Might as well pick this up while I'm here, huh? Do, do, do. Alright, so does this actually take salvage or does it just... No, it doesn't seem like it takes anything. Apparently I could just run through the whole game doing this and it wouldn't mean anything. So, if you're wondering if that, if you, if you created this game and you're watching this Let's Play and you're wondering if that guy talking is cool, it, it's not. It doesn't really add to the ambiance of the game at all. It's just kind of annoying, to be honest. Um, yeah. So, maybe next game you're going to want to go ahead and just go ahead and leave that out. Look at that, I shot that guy right in the head, like, three times. Nothing happens. Oh, oh. See? That was, like, right in the face. Come on. What? How many times can these guys get shot? Oh, maybe it's because I'm playing on hard. Even hard's not that hard, though. I mean, as you can see, I mentioned the last game, and I'll mention it again this game, and probably every time I play the game, uh, hard is incredibly easy. So if you're looking for a challenge play on the hardest difficulty because this is not even remotely difficult. I mean, you're seeing what I'm doing. I'm just kind of like barely doing anything and they're all just dying. So that go those guys have laser cannons, so I'm going to go ahead and bust out my plasma cannon, charge her up, and... okay. Thanks for disintegrating my platform. How about you eat one of these? How did that feel, buddy? 
So, I'm sorry that the game is very dark, but they actually instructed... Will you stop disintegrating my platform, please? Hey, you. Yeah, you. I'm just gonna shoot you in the head a bunch of times. Oh, is there another one? You guys think you're cool, huh? Sorry. The game is dark because, um... In the beginning of the game, when you're, like, setting all the settings up and stuff, they instruct you, you to Sam, make the game the dark. So I'm not sure if that's supposed to create some sort of mood or what, but that's what they told me to do. So, is it just me or do these cutscenes look horrible? I mean, they should just render that stuff in engine if it's gonna look that bad. Oh, that's not good. Move your ass. Nobody said anything about Exos. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to reconstruct all this stuff. Ow. Okay. Doesn't feel good. Um, okay. Neat. Apparently this little thing's not working anymore. That would have been nice to know yesterday. Oh, you know what? Oh, wait, did I just kill him? That's cool. The one room where this doesn't work is the one room where I actually need to use it. That's fine. Well, I guess I killed him. Somehow. See, why can't they just do this? Render the cutscenes in-engine. It looks much better. out of plasma now. That's okay. Dude, tuck and roll, what are you doing? What a terrible action star, he doesn't even know how to tuck and roll. Ha ha ha. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure where I was going with that. I gotta fill this time with something, right? I can't just sit here and play the game. I mean, I guess I could, but how entertaining is that? It's gotta be somewhere. And if you're thinking to yourself, that would be very entertaining, I wish you'd shut up, uh, just click the mute button, and you'll never have to hear me again. Ever. That's not even real. Come on, I've been shooting these guys in the head for the past 20 minutes. They don't die in one shot. Cool. Looks like it's not going to be a linear game after all. Check the serial number. That's genuine altar, not some cheap knockoff. Power cell included. Marauder trash. Move along if you're not buying. I wasn't talking about the contraband. Down here in Bastion, we got laws against smugglers. I don't see anyone enforcing them. Maybe we start right now. Hey, uh, this old Ark welder still work? <laughs> Guess so. I could have handled him. Sure, but what I gave him, he'll wake up from. Eventually. It's good to see you, Darius. 
Let me close up shop. I'll buy you a drink. Sorry, Kara. I got a big job up in Bradbury Canyon. I'm on my way topside. The hell you are. A monster storm just rolled in. Oh, well, for a payday like this, I can take a little win. I'll see you when I get back. Darius. Hmm? It's Franklin Amulet. It's supposed to protect against lightning. Well, it could hurt if it attracted lightning, couldn't it? Yeah, but he didn't think about that. Now he's gonna die. Oh, wait, he's me. Ah, oh, shit. Darius Mason? Yeah, put that away. You called me, remember? Money you boys put up, I was expecting a larger operation. Bring whatever equipment you need. The job's inside. The site's just up ahead. They look like old Marauder ruins. It's something like that. So what do you need me to do? There's a lower chamber we're trying to get to. The tunnel's quite stable. Word around Bastion was you could get through. I'm flattered. So, what are you after? Artifacts? Forgotten loot? Thought your policy was no questions asked. Okay, Sam, let's get to work. You picking up anything? Some of the tech's minor instability. However, the majority of low barrack supports remain intact. Something doesn't feel right. Well, that's disappointing. I thought the game was going to open up a little bit, but it looks right. like it's maintaining its linearity. Um, it still looks like it could be fun, but I really wish they would have opened it up. Maybe they will after this part, but probably not. If they haven't done it by the first, but if they haven't done it by the end of the first mission, they're probably not going to do it at all. Um, but yeah, it's kind of fun. In-game cutscenes would have been a lot better of a choice, though, because my computer can handle much, much better looking cutscenes than those. Those look really muddy and just not sharp. So. I'm going to cut this episode off here and go eat some dinner, and uh, I'll come back and play a little bit more later. Thanks for watching.